focused basically on two extreme environments, the very deep seas, and you know some of the, some of the sediments we've been looking at come from many thousands of meters depth. And again, initially, uh, we thought, well, is there anything, any of these bacteria, these actinobacteria, actually present in these sediments? And of course, there are. And then more recently, we have started to look at really dry deserts, hyper arid and extreme hyper arid deserts. And, you know, with the expectation there's very little life there. There's, in these deserts, there's no, no vegetation, very few animals, hardly any birds. Are there any bacteria? And the answer is yes. And they're there in fairly small numbers, but the nice thing is they're there in quite significant diversity. So what we do, we focus particularly on the Atacama Desert in northern Chile. And so every so often we have this marvellous experience of going to the desert, collecting samples, bringing back to the laboratory, and attempting to isolate specifically actinobacteria. And well, I wouldn't be talking to you now if, the, if it was all negative, yes. We, we find them there, and tremendous novelty, lots of new species, and fortunately some of these are actually showing novel chemistry that we hope could actually ultimately you know, lead to possible new drugs. Mm -hmm.